Uh, my name is Brian Fiscalini. I am the fourth generation of uh, Fiscalinis on this particular dairy farm. We've been in Modesto, California since 1914. My father and my grandfather have set a path um, with this farm to always take the highest care possible for our animals and for the environment. So we do so by being sustainable uh, with the way that we treat our animals, the way that we feed our cows, the way that we grow our crops, and with the newest addition of a methane digester, using that electricity created on farm to power the electric, electrical needs of the farm. So basically how the system works, we take the cow manure from about 3,000 animals that we have here on site. That would be 1,500 milking animals and then 1,500 heifers or animals that we will raise to enter our milking herd. We capture that manure from the animals. It comes down here to a collection pit and then it gets pumped into each one of our digester tanks. The two tanks are heated to 101 degrees, which is the ambient body temperature of a cow. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create the same environment that a cow has in her stomach or one compartment of her stomach known as the rumen. By doing that, the gas inside that is produced is methane gas. So by heating manure, we have bacteria, live bacteria that are inside the tank that are growing, producing gas. We use that methane gas to be burned in an internal combustion engine to which we convert that energy into electricity. Well, what's typical of, of most dairy farms that do not have a digester is extremely similar to what we had in place before we had a digester. So you have a manure lagoon where your liquid manure goes, and then you use a separator to capture your solid manure, which you can use either as fertilizer or as bedding for your animals. So the liquid portion is a, has an extremely high nutrient value, and it can be used as fertilizer as well on the crops that uh, dairy farmers grow. With a digester, the, the biggest advantage is we're creating value. So by creating value, we're producing our own electricity, we're capturing heat, making our own hot water, which dairy farms that do not have a digester would have to purchase the electricity from a local utility company, and they would have to purchase propane to heat their water heaters. There are a lot of companies that uh, build and sell digester systems, and they all vary drastically. Mainly, they revolve around what type of manure collection system you have. So in California, we have weather suitable for a flush system, where when you go to some parts of the country in the Midwest or on the East Coast, where you can't use a flush system because of the winters that you have, you'll actually freeze the water. So, caution, um, Making sure that a digester fits in your operation, I don't know that it fits in every single operation. Obviously having a good agreement with your utility company is huge. That's one of the real positive parts about our digester is our utility company is very good to work with, very fair price for the uh, electricity that they purchase from us. And um, I, I guess the last would be is that you have to be prepared to know that there are gonna be costs that you did not expect you're going to be under a completely new radar for regulatory agencies and you got to have a lot of patience to deal with those agencies and comply with all of the new regulations that are required when you build a digester.